So at this point, I, I have the application using Vaden 8 and it works. It has been migrated and I can say that, okay, my work is done, but I'm not gonna stop at this point. What I'm gonna do next is um, I'm going to go over the components and migrate them one by one. This can be done uh, in many different ways. So some uh, developers will see that um, it's not worth wasting time in upgrading old code that has been written a long time ago and just uh, start creating new code with Vaden 8 only. That can work uh, perfectly fine in many cases. Sometimes it's not gonna work if you have to uh, combine two APIs like data binding APIs or something like that. But my recommendation would be as following. Uh, just keep your code as it is, don't waste your time, and whenever you see something that can be upgraded and you are working on this class, then do upgrade it. Or otherwise, if you have the budget and time for making the full upgrade, then uh, maybe that's what I'm going to do uh, in this demo. Try to fully upgrade the whole uh, project. So uh, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to start with the small components. So the checkout window, for example, even before starting with the small components, I'm going to go over the whole project and try to upgrade the non-data components. So grid is a data component and upgrading it is a little bit um, of tricky maybe or not straightforward, but upgrading vertical layout, horizontal layout, and those kind of components is going to be straightforward. So what I'm going to do is actually start first by upgrading all the simple components, like vertical layout, for example. Upgrading it is very simple. You need to know what has been changed. And once you change the, API, the package import definition, then you automatically get no compilation error because most of the APIs, or if not all the APIs in many cases, are the same. But here in my vertical layout, I need to notice that set margin and set spacing is no longer needed. So while this code will compile and will show exactly the same thing, but maybe for optimization purpose, I can just remove those unneeded two lines. But uh, remember that uh, the other way around applies. So if you have a layout and you didn't explicitly specify set margin and set spacing, then you probably need to do the other way around, which is set margin false and set spacing false. So that was the first part, vertical layout. Anything else? Actually, this class, I can say that it has been migrated totally to Vaden 8. Uh, so I don't need to do anything else in this class anymore. It's perfect at this point. Now let's go to abstract view, which is the parent uh, layout. It has a vertical layout and a horizontal layout. So let's migrate them as well. Actually, we can also migrate the label. The label is not a field. It's not has value. So uh, it's not dealing with data and we can migrate it as well. So where horizontal layout has been used, it's controller layout and controller layout has set spacing true, but not set margin true. So what I'm gonna do is remove this line and replace it with set margin false. So reversing the APIs. And for the vertical layout, I have this layout, which is set spacing and set margin. I can remove those two lines. Probably you're gonna uh, figure these things out immediately once you reload the UI, you will notice that some things are not working as expected, um, but it's good to fix them now. So I have an error here. It says that managed bean must be concrete class or, okay. So this is a CDI error and I think I'm not gonna fix this problem at this point. So let, let's just keep it as it is. It's a warning, actually not a problem. So abstract view, I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, before closing it, we can see also that it has been migrated totally to Vaden 8. So that's a great news. Now let's go to the child 
views, which is shopping cart view, it now complains that must either be declared abstract or implement abstract. So now there are some methods that we're using uh, vertical layout, for example, and need to be fixed. So again, I'm going to fix the package import. Not fixing bean field at this point, and not fixing label field at this point. Just fixing those two, and here we go, no errors. Product view, it has a vertical layout. And option group, option group is a data component, so not migrating this at this step, maybe next step. And then um, those are data components as well. I'm gonna keep them for now. So vertical layout, where, where this vertical layout is used, it's used here in create layout. So this is called from the abstract view, and that's why I'm not gonna change the margin and spacing as you can see, overall, um, the number of margin and spacing uh, used is, or the lines removed are more or greater than the um, lines added. Now for update shopping cart event, that's actually a CDI event. So this file or this class is not gonna be touched similar to this formatter. So that's a complete uh, abstract class that's not gonna be touched at all. Now for the converter, those two files are a little bit tricky because they are absolute data related files. So I'm going to keep them for later. And then for the shopping cart line, it's using a label and horizontal layout. Let's upgrade that. So where is the horizontal layout? It extends the horizontal layout. Now it extends the new horizontal layout, which means that in the constructor, I need to uh, set margins and um, set margins and set um, set spacing. And for the label, the label is using here, so no big deal. So where is shopping cart is used? That's also important because it's a horizontal layout, so if it's used somewhere and in this other place, the margins and spacings are uh, modified, then I don't need to modify them here inside the constructor. Shopping cart line is actually used here. I think, yes, it's used here. And margins and spacings are not fixed. That's why it's a good idea to um, to fix the spacings and margins. So set margin false and set spacing false. because that was the expected behavior at the beginning. And now for a checkout window, I am using grid. All, all the components here are data related, so I'm not gonna upgrade them at this point. What I'm gonna do at this point is just to make sure that I'm not having any errors anywhere. So compiling the project, showing me warnings, but no errors, and then try to redeploy this one more time. So yeah, as I was saying, while well, this gets deployed, um, as you can see clearly that uh, basically um, the R&D team has figured out that the number of times we need to set margin and set spacing is uh, a lot a lot more than the number of time when we don't need them. That's why uh, they decided to flip the defaults. So now margin and spacing is true by default, and if you need to change that. There are very small similar things across the other components that you probably need to check them out in the release notes. So let's see how the application looks like now. 
here we go. So we see that um, the application now looks and behave exactly the same. So great, the application is now working on Wadden 8. It, some components has been upgraded already. So I will just document this down here. Step number four is upgrade light components or let's call them non-data components. Examples, layout, label, etc. Now, the following step that I want to do now is to actually migrate the heavy components. Uh, and as I said, I'm going to start with the components. It's uh, probably logical that way to fix the components and then fix the views. So I'm going to start with the checkout window. It's a grid. And as we have been used to it already, I'm going to upgrade the package import and this should produce some errors here. And now let's fix them. So what's new in grid is that it's now parameterized and the parameter here is going to be um, the Pojo, the class uh, from which the grid gets populated, which is shopping cart item. So I had previously in Wadden 7 be an item container that takes shopping cart item. I'm going to place it here. And now in the constructor, it doesn't take a container anymore. Instead, you call grid.setItems and give it the list of items directly. And this basically replaces those two lines. So instead of defining a container in Vaden 7, in Vaden 8, what we do is um, we just set items directly in one direct line. There is no containers anymore. And there is no properties. So here I had also a generated property container and I added some generated properties. In Vaden 8, this is um, a little bit more easy. What we can do is grid.addColumn and this generated column is basically going to be something like item it's going to be something like this So get product, get name. So many, many things that we can observe right away that we don't need to cast anymore. We don't need to have all this code anymore. We just have one very small uh, line of code that says add column and give it the generated property. Now, after adding this generated property, we need to manually give it a uh, caption. So let's put this in a new line. So set caption. And the caption here is going to be product name. So let's do the same thing for the three columns that I need to generate. The last column is going to be product total and this one is going to be unit price and here is get product dot get price instead of get name and here it's um, I'm defining a shopping cart item and then yeah so again I'm casting I don't need any of that anymore I will just call for matter and give it the item and the item over here. There we go. So now I have defined um, 
the three columns and I don't need this code anymore. So now the code looks prettier. Um, the following part was saying columns, set columns, grid dot set columns and giving it the properties. As I said, we don't use properties anymore. So, um, but I had another thing called quantity. So I can get rid of this line and instead I can say, um, we need we need also to maintain the same order of how I was generating the columns. So product name is here and then unit price and then quantity, quantity. I need to add it here and then product total. So to add quantity, quantity is not generated. It was not generated, it was retrieved directly as a property inside the shopping cart item. So to add it is going to be simple, just add column shopping cart item dot get quantity. And we give it also a caption. So quantity. All right. And now uh, footer row is complaining because it's coming from V7, no longer works with the new grid. So let's upgrade this as well. Still complaining, let's see. Okay, so footer row package has totally changed actually. It's now coming from um, sub package of grid. Now I don't have uh, errors anymore except that I can see that I'm still referring to the properties. This is not going to work anymore because now I don't have those columns anymore. But what we can do is set ID for each column and I'm going to give it the property name that was pre previously used. So set ID property unit price set ID property quantity and finally set ID property total product total so why I'm setting ID to be able to identify those columns and use them with this footer And now it's up to you to change those uh, names to remove the property part because it doesn't make sense anymore. Maybe you can call it ID or something like that. Uh, because as I said, there is nothing called property anymore with Vaden 8. So uh, I'm not gonna redeploy, you've got the idea and uh, we have seen clearly that uh, the, ID, the, uh, the UI doesn't change. All the time my UI is going to stay the same. But uh, what I'm gonna try to do now, just for simplicity, I'm going to hunt uh, the remaining warnings that I have in the project. And when everything is ready, then I'm most probably gonna have the latest version um, up and running of the application. So build project, no errors. Am I done? I'm certain that there is some warnings left. Hmm. It's not complaining about warnings anymore. For some reason. Okay, let's clean and build. Yeah, here we go. So now I'm seeing the rest of the warnings that I have. And at least I can see that uh, this component has been fully upgraded to Vaden 8. And what I'm gonna do next is try to upgrade this component.
shopping cart line. So shopping cart line is using label fields. And let's see what will happen when I do something like this. So I'm getting one single error over here. It tells me, again, set converter doesn't work. So of course, set converter doesn't work. It's not an API uh, in fields anymore. And what we need to do is to have a binder. So this converter needs to be sent back to the UI or what we can do actually is maybe define a binder and so this binder should be of type whatever this type is being converted from. So this converts from double to string of what? So the shopping cart service is returning shopping cart. Yeah, it it returns uh, it it uh, deals with shopping cart. So I'm gonna create a, a binder of type shopping cart. Import the binder, and here what I can do is basically say binder dot for member field value dot with converter, and then give it the new double converter. Now I have this complaining because this need also a binder to be sent to it. So what we can do is just copy this and add it here as a parameter as well and set, set it as a parameter in the constructor. Now new double string to convert, a uh, new double string converter is complaining because it's using the old school converter. So Let's upgrade that to the new converter. Now it's complaining because um, because the signature of the methods in the new converter in Wadden 8 has been changed. And we need to simply migrate this code to be here. Actually, what I'm gonna do is a little bit different. Instead of using this class, I'm going to make an inline converter. So I'm going to copy this code. As you can see, we don't need those two methods anymore. We just need to convert to model and convert to presentation. So I'm going to copy this code and add it over here. So instead of this, I'm going to say to model And then uh, to presentation is going to return formatted with format price. So um, this can be shortened a bit like that. And here we need to use two model instead of value. So two model model to model here we go so now I used this new converter and I don't need this class anymore maybe I can just delete it here we go better isn't it so can you imagine that this big class complex class uh, has been reduced to those few lines of course sometimes you need to keep the class if you need to reuse it everywhere or maybe you're using it across the application in other places. But here, maybe uh, I also can keep it like that. Um, now, this class has been uh, also fully migrated to Vaden 8. My concern just is that any, um, any place that was using this constructor is now having some errors. You can see here that shopping cart view is complaining already. So yes, we need here to define a binder. 
So what I'm going to do is define a private binder binder of type shopping cart let's call it binder equals new binder oops new binder oh i included the wrong binder not this one import class binder and now in update data source I was defining I, I was using binder field group a uh, bean field group this is the old binder to bind instance uh, fields so instead I'm going to just say binder dot bind instance field of this this is basically the replacement for this line so that's how i'm binding the fields and nothing else is left except passing the binder as a parameter in all those constructors They are still complaining um, because here the reference is still to the old label field and now it should not complain anymore. Yes. So um, now I'm using the new binder. I just need to remember now the order because uh, bind instance field should not be done except after I make the converters. So this is a little bit of a differences now between the old binder and the new binder. So I should do that here. And instead of calling bind again every time, what I can do is basically call set bean sc. So previously, I what I was doing is every time I was initiating the binder again and rebinding all the components in the form again. But since I have an object from the binder, I can do simply set bean every time this update data source is being called. It's a being called when I say clear or update shopping cart and so on and so forth. So um, I just can call binder dot set bean and. Uh, bind instance field need to be um, done after specifying the converters otherwise it will um, fail because it don't know it doesn't know how to uh, bind components together so this uh, that was a shopping cart view class and quick look at the imports section we can see that it also has been migrated fully to Vadenate. So um, if, if I can put a note here, then upgrade, like slowly upgrade other data components and probably also um, binder and use binder and so on so those has been the steps that i've been doing so far and um, maybe what we can do at this point is to go over other classes and see if anything is still left so this has been migrated as we said um, this is not migrated but this is a big question mark if we need this class anymore because it's a string property value generator and we don't use that anymore so what will happen if I delete this file it's um, has one usage the usage is
here in products view. So product view is probably the last class that has not been migrated yet. So let's do it. Um, option group. So again, let's remove this class and then it's not found. Oh, so actually option group has been um, modified. There is no longer a component called option group. It's called checkbox group or uh, options group. So um, that's why I'm going to um, actually call it here, checkbox group. This should automatically fix the imports for me. Maybe I can remove this manually as well. And now let's see how it goes. So similar to what we have done with grid, I'm going to um, call options.setItems. And here items, instead of container, is going to be the list directly over here. Um, actually, option option group uh, checkbox group need to be parameterized as well, and this is something that I forgot to make. And the parameter here is going to be from type product. As you can see, all components now are uh, parameterized, and this makes uh, working with data way easier than ever before. I don't need those lines anymore. And we see um, immediately that this line started to complain. So this line uh, is generated property. It's a caption. And the main reason why I was using this line is to have a generated property to specify how the caption that is shown uh, in the checkbox is being generated. Luckily, in Vaden 8, there is a way easier uh, method of doing this. It's uh, basically in options, uh, set, gen, set item caption generator. In set item caption generator, I can basically do something like this item and give it this. Or let's call it product. And this makes me get rid of all this code as well as this code. Actually, we don't also need this constant anymore. Now, since this is a um, checkbox, we don't need set multi select true anymore. And we also don't need this line. We have replaced this already with set items. And for the value, change value listener, the signature of the, the listener has changed as well. And um, we can just simply do something like event dot update control. Here we go. So now using Lambda expressions make things uh, way easier and the code cleaner as well. Still have some little uh, errors over here. So get items, it tells me that there is no such thing called get items. And actually this part is a little bit tricky and I feel the bug report about it because um, what I'm trying to do here is check all boxes, which means that I need something like options dot select all. Unfortunately, there is no select all, there is only deselect all. Uh, we can actually use it here instead of this one. But um, the workaround for this particular case is, is that I'm going to keep a copy of uh, the product. So um, let's define a variable private list product. Let's call it pro. Products. and 
I need to initialize it uh, since this is a bean, um, a UI scoped bean, so I need to initialize it after constructor. Um, so this, let's see if create layout is being called after constructor or not. So create layout is being called after constructor, so I'm safe to um, add the initialization code over here. So I can see say that product equal service get product, and then here we can use actually product instead of using service again. And finally, um, set value products. Uh, this also is not possible because set value um, set value take a set of product and I have a list of product not a set of product. So this is a bit tricky but what we can do is maybe product dot for each um, for each product I need to options select. So the select this product. I have also here a complaint about size. So instead of this, I can say product.size. And here we go. Now this class doesn't have any old imports, so it has been migrated fully. Um, this class now probably doesn't have any dependencies, so I'm gonna try to delete it one more time and see if anything complains. Nothing complains. So I got rid of two classes, I got rid of many, many lines of code. Um, that was actually a nice experience. Not, I don't need this folder anymore. Uh, we see that uh, this is an event, so I don't need it. I'm, I'm going to actually recompile everything one more time, so clean and recompile to see if I have any errors. No errors. I have some unchecked. So uh, well, this is actually one more thing that you're gonna notice when after migration that many, many unchecked warnings and many unsafe code is going to be safe now. So something like this, for example, you don't need it anymore, you don't need to cast anymore, and eventually this unchecked warning is disappearing. This as well is something that we can get rid of it. Uh, luckily, the IDE is helping me now to figure them out wherever I documented them before, but if you didn't document them, then over time and when you are using the code, you're probably going to uh, see those. Um, so yeah. Let's clean for the last time and hopefully it's the last time this time and then see if I have any. I still have some um, unchecked, it's an information, it's not even a warning or anything, so I'm not gonna uh, worry about it for, for now. The important thing now is that I don't have errors, I don't have warnings. Uh, the application, let's see, so the application work as expected. Again, as I said, this is not the best testing mechanism for the application. Uh, this is just for demo purpose. Um, but later I'm gonna run the test uh, cases to make sure that I've done all the migration properly. I, I didn't miss anything. So things are working as expected. Now I have a promotion of $8 and uh, shipping is free as well because I have um, big pockets in my uh, orders. Um, so yeah, the application has been fully migrated. That was it. I, it took me approximately one hour and 20 minutes, uh, a little bit less than that because I started screen recording a little bit uh, before. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, the, the steps are clear. I try to document as many of them as possible. Of course, you might um, 
uh, you might face some problems while migration but if you just take it slowly and take it step by step as um, as i started here you uh, might end up with a smooth migration and uh, limit the struggle as much as possible the important two steps as i mentioned are these and these check pom file and run vaden upgrade after those uh, probably your first focus or the best focus is to see how to um, how to upgrade the add-ons how to uh, fix the code and so on to make it compile again so i would say the three first steps are the most uh, tricky steps you need to figure out how to make the code recompile again after that everything is going to be relaxed and easy and you can iterate them slowly over time so that was everything maybe a shameless advertisement before i end this video uh, this t-shirt that you see uh, i've got it because i uh, participated in the march of add-ons to migrate add-ons from Wadden 7 to Wadden 8 um, i cannot promise you that you can get a t-shirt like this one uh, because it was exclusive for those who migrated uh, through the first uh, three months, I guess, of uh, after uh, announcing Vaden 8. But I can promise you that uh, anyone who migrate an add-on from Vaden 7 to Vaden 8 uh, is going to get a special uh, swag. So uh, please go check your add-ons, uh, upgrade them. If you have an add-on that is not upgraded and it's not by you but you can help migrating it then please go to the source code and check out uh, if you can push some updates to it or maybe clone it and make a version 8 of it to help the community grow and help the Vaden 8 components uh, be sustainable and usable by other community members that was everything. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that was uh, helpful. Let me know if uh, you like this kind of format of uh, video. Was it useful or was it too much? Uh, let me know if you uh, think that um, the whole thing um, was working good for you or if you have any uh, problems, please add them uh, in the comment section below.